Hello and welcome to jasonyedlowski.com. My name is Jay Yedlowski and this is a quick tutorial on how to import photos into Lightroom. So here I have a blank Lightroom catalog opened up. I have no images in it and I want to bring in a couple images. So the first thing we need to do is come over here to the import button. We'll click that and this will bring up the import window. So the way the import window works is we start on the left hand side and work our way over to the right. First we need to select the source. Where are the images that I want to import? In this case, they're on my desktop in a folder called Coffee Mugs. Could be from your, uh, your, your memory card, could be from an external hard drive, could be from anywhere. You select where you want the photos to come from. Once you select your folder, you'll see in this middle section, all the images that are contained within that folder will appear here. In this case, I have two images. You'll see little check marks that indicate those images are selected to be imported. The next thing we want to do is look at the middle section here, and there's different options on how we can import the files. We have copy as DNG, we have copy to copy them out of this file into a new location and then add them to our catalog. We have moves where to move the images out of this location here into the new location we're going to specify. And we have add where you can just leave the images in this file here and add them into your Lightroom catalog. So in this case I'm going to do copy and we're going to move over here to the right. So this is we're copying them from here, we're going to copy them and where are we going to put them and how do we want them to come in. So under here, the first category here, file handling, build smart previews. I use typically use one-to-one -one here. Um, it does take a little bit longer to import when you use the highest quality preview. You can use a lower one and the import will be a little bit quicker for you. Um, the next option is build smart previews. I'll leave that checked. Next is don't import suspected duplicates. If I already have these images in my Lightroom catalog, I don't want to import them again, and Lightroom is smart enough to be able to tell you which ones are already imported, so I leave that checked. Make a second copy. So you have the option to not only specify where you want the files to go, but you can make a second copy in another location. I generally don't use this. I do a different uh, method of backing things up, so I don't worry about that. I don't check that. Next, we have file renaming. Here you can rename the files in any way you'd like as you import them. You can use clients' names. You can use dates. Um, you see a couple different templates here, um, or you can come up with your own custom template on however you want to do it. So in this case, we're just going to use date and file name. The next category here is apply during import. So you have the option to apply develop settings as you import the photos. Here you see the uh, presets that come with Lightroom 5, and um, you can apply one of these as you're importing the photos. So say, for example, you always, you know, make your photos black and white and you don't want to have to do it later on you can have the filter applied to the images as you're importing them that way later on you don't have to worry about it the next area here is metadata you can apply a metadata preset that will um, apply the metadata to the photos that you're importing I'll cover that in another tutorial on how to set that up and, and what you can do with that keywords so keywords are important. Um, Lightroom's a database, so essentially it gives you a way to be able to search for your photos um, and really keep track of everything. So the more information and data that you can put in and attach to your photos, the easier time you'll have later on down the road if you're trying to search for a specific image, um, either through the metadata or through keywords. So in this case, I'll just type in coffee mug. And that'll get attached to each one of these images here. So that way if I search for coffee mug later on down the road, these two images will come up. The next uh, section here is destination. So where do I want my files to go? So in this case, um, I want to put them into a subfolder called mugs2. And if you look down here, I selected my hard drive and I'm just going to create these uh, or put these images on the desktop. And if you see here, it gives you a little preview of the folder that it'll put the photos in. So if I uncheck this, for example, you'll see the Coffee Mugs 2 folder disappears. So you have a di you know, different ways of importing your photos and putting them into a folder. I like to use into subfolder here. And in this case, I'm just going to call the subfolder Coffee Mugs 2. You see up here, here on the desktop. So that's where they're going to go. And then once we do that, we're all set to import our photos. And we just hit import. We give it a second here. And there we have our photos imported into Lightroom and we're ready to get going with them.